Well, good evening everyone. My name is Elsie Normington and I want to give you a warm welcome to this sing-along session tonight here on the 1st of October 2020. And so this session tonight is called Take 20, which is 20 minutes of old and new gospel songs and sayings. So it's just a little sing-along tonight, just singing some of the old wonderful gospel songs and sharing a little thought and encouragement for you while we traverse this journey on earth. So it's lovely that some people are already jumping on tonight and it's lovely to see you logging in and I truly pray that you will be blessed with this little session. So we're going to start off with a lovely song tonight, I've Got a Home in Glory Land That Outshines the Sun. And this is a great wee number, you know, it says in John chapter 14, in my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you that's what Jesus said to us so this song really encapsulates that so here we go here it comes oh I got a home in glory land that outshines the sun I got a home in glory land that outshines the sun I got a home in glory land outshines the Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord, do you remember me? Do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do you remember me? Do Lord, oh, do Lord, do you remember me? Way beyond the blue. Oh, I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. Why is calling you? Here we go. Oh, do Lord, do Lord, do you remember me? Do Lord, do Lord, do you remember me? Do Lord, oh, do Lord, do you remember me? Way beyond the blue. Let's sing verse one again. I got a home in glory land that shines the sun. I got a home in glory land that shines the sun. Here we go. I got a home in glory land that shines the sun. Way beyond the blue. Last time. Here we go. Oh, do Lord, oh, do Lord. a great song to get started with wasn't it i've got a home in gloria land and uh, this was written by bill black in 1954 and johnny cash of course he was a guy that made that song very famous i'm sure we're all familiar with johnny cash now i seem to have a wee shadow tonight i'm just going to move one of my lamps around here And hopefully that's got rid of the shadow a wee bit more. That You know, there's a whole technicality to all the lighting of all this stuff. And I've had to learn so much during the last 28 weeks of doing all these online singing sessions. Now then, next up, we're going to do a wonderful classic song. This hymn is sung right across the board in many churches throughout the world, all kinds of church denominations be thou my vision and it was actually written a way back as an Irish hymn during the Celtic Christianity time in the 8th century imagine that it was really interesting but it was translated by Eleanor Hunt in 1912 and many Christian artists have sung this and it's a great song of inspiration be thou my vision, because if ever we need vision, boy, we need vision today. And how important it is to make the Lord Jesus Christ our vision in our lives. So here we go, we're going to sing Be Thou My Vision. Be 
watching the news earlier on you know it's it's not a lot of great news is it and it's a time when we really need to trust in the Lord and really have the Lord as our vision I was thinking about that verse in Psalm 27 and it says this the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid? And it's so, so important for us not to be afraid when we listen to the news that we will get through this and the Lord is with us. So I encourage you to trust in the Lord as we walk through this pandemic in the world. It's so important. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus, you may be watching me sing tonight. I'm just here to facilitate a little hymn singing session. But if you have never asked the Lord Jesus into your heart, you can ask him in tonight. Accept the fact that you're a sinner and say, Lord Jesus, come and wash my sins. I want to be part of your family and invite the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart and you will experience the Lord is my light and my salvation. So there we go. That's a great song, Be Thou My Vision. Now then, I'm going to share a little poem again from Joanna Fuchs. Again, Joanna is from America and this uh, poem is taken from poemsource.com. I'm using it with permission. I've already read this poem in the past, but I really felt it was important that I read it tonight. Just in view of everything that we're hearing right now, um, this is a great wee encouragement. It's called, We'll Get Through This. Lord, our troubles are so great. We don't know what to do. The price for our iniquity is finally coming due. The world is crumbling all about. No safe place can be found. Right is wrong and wrong is right. The change is quite profound. Lord, we need your guiding light to lead us out of here. We'll focus on your word and prayer to take away our fear. Temptations of this dying world, we'll rule out and let go. Give our burdens all to you and shed all our worldly woe. That's how we'll get through this, Lord, fixed on heaven above, assured of your protection, help and everlasting love. Isn't that lovely? And it's just along the theme of what we're saying tonight about the Lord is our light and our salvation. We will get through this as we trust in him. He'll give us the strength, the grace, the hope, the comfort and the encouragement 
to get through this. So there we go. That was just lovely. And we're going to sing another old favourite now, In the Sweet By and By. Now then, this is a great song. And this song was written, the words were written by a man called Bennett. And he had an employee called Webster, Joseph Webster. And Joseph was often very down in the dumps. He suffered from lots of depression and he would come into work feeling really downhearted. And one day he came into work and uh, Bennett said to him, well, what's wrong today? What's the matter today? And he replied by saying, oh, well, I suppose it'll be all right by and by. And as a result, Bennett sat and penned the words of this great song in the sweet by and by. And maybe you're going through a hard time right now. People have got a lot of challenges right now. But let's just focus. There's a land that's fairer than day in the sweet by and by. So here we go. Oh, start again. to heaven what a wonderful wonderful thought that is and a great hope and surely that stirs your faith tonight just to think about that that you know we're, we're passing through this world but one day we'll go to that eternal shore and we'll meet our blessed lord jesus christ and he'll welcome us home do you know jesus said i have called you my friends and i think it was john 15 he said that and it's not wonderful we're his children but jesus has also called us his friends and maybe tonight maybe friends have let you down or maybe you don't have many friends i encourage you to ask the lord jesus as your friend well, our last song tonight is a great song, It Is Well With My Soul. Now, one of our regular viewers, Kay McKenzie, has asked for this song 
And this is a great classic. It's a wonderful song. The lyrics are really stirring and I'm sure you may well know the background. I've told you the background before. It was written by Horatio Gates Spafford. Uh, way back in the late 1800s, he went through great hardship. There was a fire in Chicago. He lost a lot of property. Then he was going to come to Europe. He sent on his wife and four daughters. And during that time, the four daughters were drowned at sea and only she was saved. And, you know, what a devastating thing to happen to this man. And this is what he wrote, when peace like a river attends my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. So let's sing this lovely song tonight, it is well with my soul.
song, isn't it? And my prayer to you all tonight who are watching, or whether that you may see it later on YouTube, I just trust tonight that it is well with your soul and you're ready to meet the Lord Jesus when he comes back for us. I want to say a huge thank you for watching Take 20 tonight. It's lovely to see you all there. And may the Lord bless you and may the Lord give you great hope and courage. And may he be that light and salvation in your, in your life. Thank you very much for watching and good night everyone.